Ooh. 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 All right, all right. So I'm going to sit down. And then I'll say, shut the cock out, full of that. It's not even long. I'm not in Obo Deep Post. Post. All right, so look. Um, I, I got excited because I, I wanted to say something that, um, you know, I learned something today. You know, I mean, I get excited because I learned something. I, today, I want to get excited because I feel, I feel I learned something today. And what I learned, and I, this is not the, how, how can I put this? This is not the first day I learned this. I just figure out how to make it work. Like in the 60s and the 70s, definitely in the 70s and the 80s, um, the bass players during that time was using a lot of stomp boxes. Larry Graham used the stomp boxes. Uh, the, some of the brothers from some of the R&B groups were definitely used the stomp boxes. Uh, they kept with George Duke were using stomp boxes. Uh, you know, people use the stomp boxes. I, here it is, 2023. You know, I, you know, and I'm just beginning to start using stomp boxes. Not, and I had them since the 70s. And, and the, the cool thing about it is, is that with a stomp box, you, you got to realize when to use it. And it's not to be used on every song. And it's not to be used all the way through the song. It's like certain parts of the song use a stomp box. And people are like, well, what is a stomp box? Let me show you. A stomp box is anything that's down on the floor that looks like that. You know, some people got racks. And on the corner over there, I got a rack. Um, and I got one unit that has all kinds of effects in it. But I I'm excited today because I, I just realized... And how to use them. You know what I'm saying? Like the guys in the 70s, when they wrote songs, they wrote it for that stop box. Um, here in the, you know, 2023, is like we, you know, we detune. And detuning makes things even more difficult. Um, I still tune in e-concert. So, um, and, I, and, and I've also found out for myself that when you use a natural bass, passive bass, the stomp box seems to react a lot better than an active bass. Like this is an active bass. If I put this active bass on that stomp box, it would it would react a whole lot different than this passive bass would. This is a this is a Steinberger bass, and this is a Hobo Depot custom one I built myself. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna start with the passive bass. Now check it out. What I'm using is a B, is a bass IQ. Alright? And I got it on the up position mode, and it's an EBS. EBS makes this thing. I, without it being on, you hear this. Mm -hmm. 